again, everybody. It's Marlene with Stock Paper Scissors. Back to do the se second part to my idea book. Um, I made a first video and I showed about a third of the book, maybe a little more. So I had some questions about what an idea book is and how you make one. So I just thought I'd sh do a couple videos showing what mine looks like. Mine's just a... Uh, a cheap uh, book that I got at the dollar store with plain pages in it and I just glue the ideas to it. I did buy these longer posts because it's, it was getting too big and as I said in my previous video I'm probably gonna have to do something else soon because um, I really can't put too many more pick pages in here and I have more ideas to add to it yet. So we're just going to continue on where we left off in the last video we had done this page, which we said was a fold over with a long tuck and two smaller tucks. And so that one folds over the page. Here I have made a off cut uh, journaling pad on the front of it. And it folds open with a tuck spot here, a tuck pocket and opens again and inside there's another journaling spot and you could have a second pad of paper in here and on this page another corner pocket lots of room for journaling in that one and it can be made as big or as small as you like this one is hidden paper clips on a multiple flip paper edge band with tuck spots and journal spots <laughs> So here we have some tuck spots here, a little bit of collaging, tuck spot there, and a tuck spot here, and they're just over the page, and what it is is one long piece, inside are more tuck spots, inside here, and on this side is the paper clips, and that's how it's fashioned to the page. And then on the next page, we have these tuck spots here and here. So I'll put it back on the page and you can see what it looks like from the other side. So paper clips just clip onto the page there and here. And again, you can make this whatever size you like. You can make a tiny little one or you can make a full size page one. And then it just goes over to the other page and that's where you have the flip ups. And you can even journal on these if you want to as well. Or they open and you just have the whole page to journal on. On this side again, we have some hidden paper clips on a flip folio for over the page edge with one long flip and two other flips. So again, this is just paper clipped onto the page. This one looks like this. I've done some collaging on the front of both of them. They open out into some journaling spots. And this one has a tuck spot or a pocket here for a tag. It's a little bit tight. And then again, there's your hidden paper clips and they just fold over the page. And on this side of the page is one long tag hidden inside this strip. And that just paper clips to your page on both sides. Just like that. This one, I call this a pizza or pie-shaped wheel with eight tuck spots. So what I did was I sewed this together. I did not sew it to the page. I sewed it to a back piece of paper. It's a double paper. And I just sewed all these little sections into like a pie shape or a pizza. And tucked in each section is a little journaling card or you could easily use folded pieces of paper and put them in here as well so they open out into a circle and they would make a larger journaling spot. So there is eight tuck spots in each one. On this side, we have another 
corner tuck here at the top. On both sides, it makes a tuck spot. And here we have a three pocket tuck and um, yeah, so we have a tag here on the front in this little pocket, a longer one here, and then at the back, we have another tag tucked in there. On this side, we have a long belly band made from old book pages. And tucked in there is a flip folder with one pocket, three tuck spots with four tags, and this belly band. So there's a tuck spot here, or a little pocket. Here we have another little belly band with room for a, a card or a journaling paper or whatever. And back here as well. And here as well. And then at the back, Hold it held together with magnets is this little flip open spot with another journaling card tucked in there. And it's a little bit tight. There we go. And then that one just fits in the belly band. many pieces here to work around. There we go. Here, this is a basket double tuck. So I just made this basket out of some uh, jute rope and I just wove it in amongst some yarn that I had here to make the basket. Decorated the top of it and made like a little faux handle. Inside that are these flowers tucked inside and then it's only glued on the page with three sides so behind it it makes a tuck spot. This one is a folder with five tuck spots and journaling pages and it's over the page as well. So it looks like this. It has a little tuck spot on the front for this little tag. It has another tuck spot here. Then it opens out and it has a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here for this tag. It has a little journaling pad. And then on the back, it has one more tuck spot. For its size, it has quite a few tuck spots and lots of journaling area. Here we have an origami butterf butterfly that I made and I've just used it as a tuck spot on a page. On this one, it's a decorated imitation shirt or tuxedo shirt that I put a little bow tie on it and I've used it for a tuck spot and it just holds this piece of journaling paper, an old book page, and one of these tags that I make. It has a tuck spot on the front, and it's just made from woven pieces of paper. Actually, these are pieces of cardstock, and these are offcuts from kits and stuff that I buy when I trim around the pages or the pictures. I have a lot of these white strips left, so I weave them and then I back them with lined paper or cardstock, and I just make them into decorative tags. And I have a video on my YouTube channel showing some of those. This one is a paper bag, and it's got inside it a little journal. On the front, there's a tuck spot here and inside are pages for journaling on and then another tuck spot at the back that fits in the bag on the page and then the bag flips up and it has it's fastened on here with a paint chip 
and I've just stamped on the paint chip and then I've used it as a belly band, an area to put another journaling spot or a tag. So that's a busy page. On this page, I've collapsed a bunch of old book pages into this. Um, I have one here that I've used. It's an old business envelope. And so I've collaged the old book pages onto it. But I've made it into four tuck spots. So there is one here. Whoops. One here. And this is just using um, part of an, the envelope, the bottom part. I've made it into a couple of tuck spots. And then inside the envelope is a long tag as well, tucked in there. I won't try and pull it out because I may have a harder time getting it back in. This one is a window envelope tuck flip. It has two tuck spots. So I put a piece of acetate window here, decorated it a bit. It flips open and it has all this collage around it. And inside here is room for it to tuck some journaling cards. It has a nice picture which shows through the acetate window. And, um, oh, and there's a tuck spot back here. So I just have this card back here. On this one, I have another similar to my origami butterfly. This one is a little angel and I've used it just as a tuck spot on a page. Here I've made this tuck spot with a zipper. It actually functions. It goes up and down to look like an older shirt. Um, and it's actually stitched in, but you could glue this in and just draw the stitching on if you found it too hard to sew on paper. And behind it is a tuck spot, and it just has a little shaker card in it with a bunch of um, fussy cut raspberries in there, made to look like a mason jar. And on the bottom, this is a over the page double tuck spot here so on this side is a tuck spot these are trims that i i did a little video again on youtube how to make these and then you can use them as page decoration and so there's a tuck spot here as well in the bottom of the page then up here we have a flip out a uh, flip out and it's got five tuck spots so we've got one it flips out there flips out here so there is in here here I can show you again there's a tuck spot in here and another tuck spot there on both sides of the book page and then the same here two pages there and that just flips down some of them might be hard to understand from the way I'm showing you, and I apologize for that, but it takes up a little bit too much time when I'm going through this to take them all apart and put them back together. This one is a tuck spot that fits over the bottom of the page. It's made from an old envelope, repurposed envelope, and on the back of it is a pocket. And it just, I've got it fitted over the bottom of the page instead of the side or the top for a, a little bit of a different idea. And it's just held on there with a paper clip. And here over the top of the page, this is not held on with anything. It's a double page flip. I'll get it out of here. It's another envelope decorated and it has a tuck spot in here for a tag. And then when you open it up over the page, there's another tuck spot here. Then we have a little journaling flip book here. And on the back side, 
we have a little double tuck spot here and here and another window. So it's actually got two windows, two envelopes and some tuck spots. And then on this spot, it's just another little over the corner tuck spot, but this one is a square one and it just has a little tuck spot on this side and a little tuck spot on this side. Lots on that page as well. Now on this one, here we have a hidden paper clip journaling booklet and it's held shut with Velcro just has a little tiny little booklet inside and fastens to the page. This is different sizes of tuck spots from old book pages. There's five all together. So there's one here. There's one here. We have another one here and this is another uh, page with a an old picture that had cracked and I love the picture. It's a little boy in an Indian outfit. Um, it's an old, old picture. But it was glued back together by someone and I didn't want to throw it out. So I just used it here in my idea book. And then behind that is a, another large tuck spot. I have a couple of old vintage postcards in there. And then this one goes behind here. On this side, we have a journaling book with tuck spots inside and tuck spot um, behind the belly, behind the, the journaling thing that's put on like a belly band. So it's just glued on two sides. So there's a tuck spot back there. This little bread holds it shut. Inside we have a paper pad and here we have another little paper pad tucked in there. So many ways to make tuck spots and pockets. And here we have a door or a window with tucks, journaling spaces inside and a large tuck spot behind. Um, the windows can be cut out of the door. You could make windows in here if you wanted to. So we'll just go inside and see what that looks like. So it opens out in two doors. And on the doors we have a tuck spot here on this side. And we have a tuck spot on this side as well. Oh, this one flips open. It's a journaling spot. And like I said, you could cut windows into these and then you could put journaling cards behind the window that are really nice. And then this can easily be made into a large journaling spot as well. And then behind that, I just have a folded blank piece of paper for journaling also. On this side, I made some torn top and bottom corner tucks with two tuck spots in each. So these are all just torn and inked, and the tags also are torn. So there's one there and one there, top and bottom, two spots. On this side, I collaged a coffee filter, and it made tuck spots for tags like this. And another one like this. Oops, I guess it's glued. So a tuck spot there and then a tuck spot inside the coffee filter. On this side, we have a folio in a tuck spot with five tuck spots in the folio. So I'll just show you what this looks like. It opens out. There's a tuck spot here. A tuck spot inside, a tuck spot at the top, and then a tuck spot on this side as well.
And that's the little folio. I'll put that in later. And on this page, we have a sewn pocket using old book pages. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. Um, old book pages forming six tuck spots. So there's one behind. There's one here. Another one here in this book's page. One back there. And one on the bottom. So again, just folding old book pages into different ways. So this page is folded over, folded over here again, sewn together, folded up on the bottom and glued on so that there's a tuck spot at the back. And this is a nice bright page. This is um, using a three by six inch piece and a three by three inch piece. I made this little paper pad with these little journaling pages inside offcuts. It's a matchbook. And then on the back of it, there's a tag. And then they just tuck into a pocket. On this one, I used a three by nine inch piece, cut off two inch piece for a tag, and it was used up here. So this one has a little tuck spot for a journaling piece, and it's a little envelope, and it tucks behind there. On this side, I used a six by six inch piece to make um, an extra three by three inch for the tuck spots. So this is one tag that came out of it. Another tag up here that came out of it. We have a tuck spot on this side and we have a tuck spot on this side. And then it's tucked into a pocket. And then this one is using one piece of three inch by three inch cubes and an extra three inch by three inch to make the tuck spot. So there's one here, one back here, little journaling spot there. There's a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. And that just tucks into the pocket. On this page, we have a collaged element. Take it off here. And it's glued to the page. Whoops. Glued to the page, and, but it opens out into a large journaling spot. And it's just folded, but you can still write on it. And then it forms two tuck spots, one there and one inside this spot. And as you saw, I just fold that on with a little paper clip. And there's just a little bit of collaging on the front of that to decorate it. This one is a large triangle folded to make four pockets or tuck spots. So there's one here, one here, one inside, and one at the back. Here, this page has triangles on it, and they all make tuck spots. So that's a corner one with two tuck spots, one at the back and one behind the first triangle. And down here, it has four tuck spots, one, two, three, and four. And you can make as many triangles as you want to form tuck spots. Here, this is a... Um, a paper bag I think I used. Nope, it's just a, just one sheet of paper. So behind it is a long tag. It's like a belly band. Room to journal on here. A tag tucked in this spot. This folds up but opens up. And when it opens out, there's another area here for journaling, and this makes a tuck spot back here for room. For, oh, I have a tag in there. So 
room for another little tag. And it would have to be a tiny little tag because of that. It's not very big where I folded it. So that little tag folds over and this folds up. And that little thing keeps it shut. On this side, I made all these little tuck spots. This goes into a belly band on the page. Each one of these is tucked behind a button and it opens out into a little envelope and there's a tag tucked into each one. And it's color coordinated to be like the rainbow. So each one is an envelope with a tag inside. That flips up and it makes this little pocket down at the bottom. Room there for a tuck spot. There's another spot here for a tag to tuck in. And on this side, we also have room for a tuck spot. And on the back, no, that's glued. So it's just plain on the back. And that slips into a belly band. On this one, we have a little booklet made here. So this one opens out into a little book this way. It has a tuck spot on the front with this little tag. And this is one piece, I believe, folded. Um, several journaling tuck spots. I don't, re didn't really write on there for this one piece. So there's a, t a corner tuck here. A little journaling pad here, another journaling pad here on this side. That flips and makes another journaling tape spot here. There's a tuck spot right here. I should have something to show you. So that's a tuck spot. On this side, there's a tuck spot here. More journaling paper tucked back here. Turn the next page, and we have a little journaling booklet here that comes out into a journaling page, front and back. That folds over. There's room here for a tiny little tag. On this one, it's another flip up with a little journaling booklet. And on this side, the flip up comes and makes a tuck spot there and a tuck spot here. Wow, this is a busy little booklet, eh? And then on this side, we just have a little belly band with another piece of paper for journaling on. One more page. We have another tuck spot here. This page folds up and tucks under that tab, folds down for another journaling spot. And on this side, we have a pocket for a tag. And that's that. Wow. Put the little tie back on it. And that fits in the billy band right there on the page. That would make a thick page. Here we have small ephemera tuck spots. So I just have made from glassine bags, just glued on into little wee tuck spots on the page. Old small ephemera, they're see-through. On this one, we have two envelopes glued together to make a tuck spot. Um, make it into a belly band. This one here, so you can make it into a belly band um, on a page or you can sew it in your journal as two different pages, but they flip out and then you can put a journaling card inside each envelope. And that's just a triangular of square glued on those envelopes to form those tuck spots. So that wasn't fastened to the page, but it was just an example of what you could do with it. And then on this one, 
we have another one um it's in white so you can see it a little bit easier what i've done and it's just tucked into a corner pocket then on the very last page i have this is rach and bella's easy fold paper pocket envelopes so on the page there are three of these little envelopes folded to make little tuck spots one tuck spot here one on the bottom and one behind and the same here there's one here one inside and behind and behind this one also has a big tag and a small tag and then two tags in the sides so that one is thanks to Rachel and Bella's grass and that's my idea book so far wow thank you if you watch this whole thing thank you <laughs> um it's a lot and i appreciate it if you did watch it i do hope maybe you got some ideas and um good luck with your idea book if you make one again thank you for watching and have a great day